Good evening and welcome to News Now. I'm your host, Don Richardson. In tonight's news, the President of the United States, John... Oh boy, I may have an idea of where this leads. As do I. Since we reside in your head, I have come to the conclusion that memory fragments have leaked into our world. So if that's uh, correct, then um, each door should lead to a vital memory where the script is located. Uh, okay, really specific there. But at the same time, I also hope it takes me to a nice place. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think it does. Guess we're either cleaning this room or burning it after. Feet, maybe spread the word and then bury the body? Yeah? Earth to Fee, spread the word about the king and bury the body. And you, come with me. <laughs> you don't have to ask me twice. I know this is meant to be scary and all, but my fucking legs hurt from this shitty, literal hallway metaphor. I mean, come on. I've been smoking since I was 14. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, 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 what the... What fucked up piece of shit does this to my characters? Oh, guess I'll find out in there. Fucking brilliant. All right, I just... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh. Hmm? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, I've never had to clean anything as gross before. Unless you count the King's strange pies. What could they possibly be doing to warrant that mess? You know, Dominic is the reason why everything is like this. But I don't think he can control it. Is he now? I wish it weren't true. But uh, we have to face the fact that all our lives were written on paper and pre-planned before he arrived. So once he leaves, our lives will be either back to normal, or we cease to exist. In that case, I'd rather adopt to this shit show of a place and risk a chance of disappearing. Because if we don't move past the times, then we get left behind. It's true because it rhymes, by the way. I uh, don't think that's how it works. As someone afraid of everything, you don't seem to fear death. Well, realistically, what's the point of fearing the inevitable? Yeah, okay, mate. No need to get philosophical. I've let the townsfolk know. Though it's only a matter of time before they start questioning us. Yay! Why on earth are you exhausted? Well, to keep the theme of running for leader, I, uh, ran around putting up flyers. I pray you never enter comedy because that was just awful. Jesus Christ. I think we should intervene if Dominic isn't out in ten minutes. What? Don't be crazy, Mindy. It isn't our job to do his task. It's our job to help him. If you don't want to help, that's fine by me. I'll go in myself. We don't owe him anything because of our status as heroes. We help the folks of Critter Island, not some drugged up sleaze. What do you have against him, Oscar? He's been nothing but an asshole for us, for Christ's sakes. He's caused this shit show, and you know what else? We aren't equipped for this kind of situation, Mindy. First of all, there's no proof Dominic is the cause. Secondly, for the last time, it doesn't matter how unknown and scary the situations are. Our job is to help those regardless- Wait a minute. No calls 
asked for help again. Thrown away. You threw the letters away. Why? Because I got up one night and I saw the letters overfilling the help sheet. And they all described dark horrors. Things I've never, we've never heard about before. I was scared and I threw them all away. You've left them for dead, Oscar. We aren't equipped to deal with the unknown. All those critters. Like Dominic said, we're simply just cartoon characters for kids. So I won't feel bad for being afraid. <laughs> Learn to put your goddamn feelings aside for once, Oscar! I'm going in there in ten minutes. And don't you dare try to stop me. Uh, let's get some ice on there, Oscar. She left quite a mark. Oh, fine, Jesus. Robert, what the fuck? Hide. Um, where are you? This hide-and-seek shit really hits close to home. Fuck me. There you are! You little brat! You damn mother! No offense, Mom, but you're kind of a bitch. I do apologize, my king. Maybe if me and Z were here for you, this might have not happened. I promise you, I'll make sure Critter Island is protected at all costs. Why are you talking to his corpse? It's because corpses don't judge me, silly. Right. I'm honestly conflicted. Mindy wants to rescue Dominic, and I'm on the sideline about it. I can't talk her out of it. Oh, you've come here for advice? Well, yeah. W what would I do? Me, personally? I always help those in need. I mean, this is what happens when you don't. Are you implying that this might happen if I don't help Mindy? I dislike alarming critters, but... Pretty much. Wow, that's... That, that's actually a good wake-up call. No offense, but I didn't expect that from you, Fee. Z doesn't expect it either. He thinks because I'm cheery all the time that I'm not aware of my surroundings. But I'm very much in tune with everything that happens. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> you should have never been open. Dominic, sweetheart, open the door. No thanks, Ma. I choose life. You... Failure! Now again, Mom. You remind me every single day for 14 years. <laughs> I mean, fuck me for wanting to be loved, right? That's your mom? I mean, I can... see the resemblance... kinda? Are you serious? I... I mean... maybe it's the... the... the hair? You're sick, you know that? 
And I haven't been able to find the fucking script either. This is scaring me and pissing me off at the same time. Stupid question, but um, what if your mom is the script? You know why I'm still alive? Because of fear, obviously. So if she's the script, I'm not touching her with a ten-foot fucking pole. I mean, you have a point. There's nothing to defend yourself with. I noticed that when I saw you being tossed around. You're not helping the situation at all, Mindy. What the hell do you want me to do? I want you to fucking help. It's over, my son. What the hell was that? Mom, just letting you know that I, uh, got no closure the first time, so yeah. Could you specify what you meant before you died? I'm really sorry for whatever happened, Dominic. Uh, no, no, I'm fine. Let's just grab the script and get out of here. Hey, uh, so... I want to apologize for what I said back there, Mindy. I'm now aware of the consequences of our lack of care. M my lack of care. You were right. What you did was pretty messed up. However, I'm now realizing that while fear may keep us alive, it's the risks we take that keep us moving forward. It's a double-edged sword for both of us. 